Yo, the future is now, baby! Hi guys, my name is Oleg Ibrahimov, and today I will show you how you can easily teach AI to speak your voice. You may make your voiceovers without even opening your mouth. You may go to Fiverr or any similar marketplaces and take orders of voiceover without even opening your mouth. Or make YouTube videos with your perfect English. Or watch my next video where I show how to install AutoGPT and use that trained AI audio model to make AutoGPT speak with you your voice. Welcome to AutoGPT. I want to execute browse underscore website to search for the best selling themes on video stock. And it doesn't matter if you speak English good. All you need is a five minutes long audio file with you reading a text on your language and a couple of bucks for 11 lab subscription and AI will make you life easier. So let's dive into it. Uh, first, first of all, what you need, you go to 11lab website and you sign up. In order to teach AI speak your voice, you need to buy a subscription. The first month you got 80% off. So actually you pay $1 for the first month and got 30,000 characters. I think that's almost for free. After you sign in, you see something like that. So here you can add your voice and it doesn't matter what language you speak because I tried with my wife that is speaking English bad and she was reading the text in Ukrainian. I took the text and tried to teach AI and it did a great job. After you bought a subscription for one box, you can teach 10 voices. So I have here Marina, it's my wife, and Moody Motion. So that is how it sounded in Ukrainian. Згідно з угодою життя, людина фактично опиняється в розпорядженні телевізійників. Всі обов'язки перелічити коротко не вдається. That is how it learned. Hello and welcome to our weekly AI news update. I'm Marina Udovic, your favorite human language model and your guide to everything that's hot and happening in the world of AI. Uh, it has some problems with the names. It's not pronouncing Oleg Ibrahimov properly, but I think that we can deal with that. So now you can add the voice here. You can add 10 voices. Let's, let's add one more. Instant voice cloning. And you name it, Oleg Ibrahimov. You drop here a voice. I just took my video tutorial where I was speaking English for the whole video and where I got some emotions. It's actually good to give some emotions and intonation different because it's learning and it will use it. If you're speaking some other language, not English, you can try it. I tried Ukrainian and it worked perfectly. You give up to 25 samples. I just divided into three because I got a big file bigger than 10 megabytes. So after that, you give some labels and description, all the stuff, add voice, and it takes some time to learn. That's how I added Marina voice. You can see what voice I gave it. That sounds like that. Here you can tweak some parameters and let's give it a try. After you go generate, it will take, in my case, 174 characters out of available because I used them a lot. Hi guys, my name is Ole Ibrahimov and today I want to show you how easily you may teach AI to speak your voice. You may make your voiceovers without even opening your mouth. So I think this sounds great, you know? <laughs> my wife never spoke English so clear. Let's make it like more stable. Hi guys. My name is Ole Ibrahimov, and today I want to show you how easily you may teach AI to speak your voice. You may make your voiceovers without even opening your mouth. The future is now, baby. Yeah, let's tweak some parameters. Go it down. Let's go. The future in now, baby. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Ole Ibrahimov, and today I want to show you how easily you may teach AI to speak your voice. You may make your voiceovers without even opening your mouth. The future in now, baby. Shit! Yo, the future is now, baby. What? <laughs> oh, I'll try my voice again. A lot less stable. Hi, guys. My name is Ola Ibrahimov. And today I want to show you how easily you may teach AI to speak your voice. You may make your voiceovers without even opening your mouth. The future in now, baby. It's now. I'm in. Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. 
The future is now, baby. Um, I don't see the speed of voice. Uh, it would be a great thing to make a uh, read faster or slower. The future is now, baby. Actually, that is it. So if you need the API key from your um, 11 lab account, you can go here, hit profile settings, and here it is. I won't show it to you. So, and if you need the voice ID, um, I, I don't know if I do it well. You have to copy your API key and then go to resources, documentation, API playground. And here is the section get voice. You click here, now try it out and put here your API key, execute. That is how I found my uh, voice ID number. But if you know the better way, just leave the comment and tell me because I feel like I'm some kind of prehistorical man. Here, if you scroll, is the name of my voice ID. I named it Marina and here is this voice ID. And mine, I called it Moody Motion. So here it is. In the next video, I will show you how to install AutoGPT and to make it speak with your voice. The AutoGPT can create the assistant. That is why I created two voices. So the AutoGPT speaks my voice and the assistant speaks my wife's voice. So these are the marriage inside the AI. See you next time. Thank you.